Queens of Bravo tweeted some photos of Erica yelling at Sutton from Kathy's party with the caption, and not once was she called a bully by anyone. Agreed. Garcelle, you retweeted this with a thank you. Should someone have called out Erica for being a bully that night? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's one of my biggest regrets that night, and it haunted me, and it still haunts me, that I didn't stop it, that I didn't do something and to say. And what would you have said? Enough. Enough. And I felt like I should have tried to intervene to de-escalate the situation because it was a lot. Elva from Bakersfield said that if she had been threatened like that, she would have hired security. Sutton, were I you did. scared? You did. She did. Absolutely. You hired security. For for a week, I did, yeah. What's your reaction to that? <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what she's gonna do. Oh, okay. We're in a Joe Pesci movie now. You said you were gonna come after me and my family. You came after me and my family, so you can get pushed right back on. That's not an okay way to speak to people. And it's not okay to call someone a liar. And it's not okay you know to what? say someone made a deal with the devil. And it's not okay well, to say that. You know I, what? I what? have my opinion. And I have mine. But, the, but and it, okay. no, you're not they going talk to do about this. it like an adult. I Don't, am an adult. You know what? What? It didn't seem like that at that time. And it didn't. And it felt like you were being a bitchy. <laughs> okay. That's what it felt like. Coming up next, the level of questioning of Lisa Vanderpump regarding But that. she ran away and I didn't. She couldn't answer the bell. I f***ing did. You said you were going to come after me and my family. It's not OK to call someone a liar. I have my opinion. And I have mine. They talk about it like an adult. I Don't, am an adult. It didn't seem like that at that time. And it felt like you were being a bitchy Okay? That's what it felt like. That you could not understand the position I'm in, and you kept pushing, and you kept pushing, and worrying about yourself. And that's not what needed to happen. Actually, I wasn't worried about only myself. I wasn't seeing you worried about the victims at all. You don't know that. You're assuming right. that. What would I have needed to do? You were only throwing insults at me. You weren't taking any kind of conversations with me one-on-one. I'm not one -on -one. going to be called a liar Well, if in you this would moment. talk to me, then maybe you could no. convince me that you weren't. I'm not a liar. I don't need to convince you. How do I'm I know this? I'm not going this? to sit at a I dinner table. I don't know you that and be, well. And you don't know me well enough to say I'm a liar. I was looking at the facts. What facts? I was reading the really? LA 20, Times. Really? 20 million yeah. did not go into my account. So you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Erica's a liar. Erica's inconsistent. Erica's a... Well, I... Well, I'm not. Listen, you know what you did in Del Mar? What? You pretended to be my friend. <sighs> it's just been rough, honey. It, and it's something that I can't even f***ing predict. I know, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, my God, they're talking. I'll get through it. But I had to lash out, and I apologize. And you pretended to be mine and No, actually, I thought that you were being sincere. And you know what that is? Lying. No, that's actually just playing your ass. Tell me why being called a liar is, is such a big trigger. Because this because... is a big deal in my life. It's a strong word. It's a pretty it's, dangerous here's, here's moment the thing. to be called a liar. This is a, a very vulnerable yes. moment. These are big, they have big consequences outside. <laughs> it... Look, I had never told that story about Tom and his car accident to anyone. As a result of the crash, his ankle was broke. Right, got it, got it, got it. He was also yeah. unconscious for 12 hours, but no one He knows. was? So when I tell it, and I'm called a liar about it, Well, maybe... you did. You said that he broke his ankle. He did break his ankle. And that was it. No, he Just did. because you didn't say that he had the brain thing at the same time, that is still lying. No, it's not. That's a it is word. protecting. It's not, hold it's on, not it is not a story. You said that your marriage was perfect when he was having affairs. My marriage was okay. not perfect. The thing is, Erica, sometimes it's okay to lie when you're protecting something. I'm not I lying. get that. And first off, you so, weren't even in our group years ago. I when know, that but happened. you told the story. First you're off. saying you, you just left things out. Do you to know protect. why? Yes, you were yes. protecting. And I, that's okay, and but, that's okay. But if that's you don't not know the lie. story, if you don't know that you're protecting, I could you no may longer protect. Hold on. Once Tom's counsel had said he's incompetent, I came with the whole story, okay? 
And by the way, when she asked me a question I couldn't answer, even though we're close, I said, I can't tell you. I said, okay. Well, Robbie from Redondo Beach said, Rinna, you said Erica shouldn't be questioned because she's dealing with something serious. Yolanda's health and Kim's addiction and Denise's marriage were all pretty serious in my eyes. But right. now with Erica, it's crickets. Did aliens take over your body? Please explain yourself. No, aliens have not taken over my body. Okay. Okay. But this is a really important I'm gonna, point. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say, number one, I feel horrible about what happened with Yolanda. Munchausen disease, that was the biggest <laughs> blow I've ever had in my life. And I'm sorry about that. And it didn't sorry come from me. Sorry is not enough. You put it out in the universe, and that sucks. I regret that. That was wrong on every level. And I'm really sorry that that happened. Good. I wish I could take that back. I feel horrible about that. Okay. Horrible. Kim, I also feel that it wasn't my place to do that. You told Eden that I am near death that I am not in a good place, that is so treacherous. Well, Kim, you have to know that I have only wanted to move on with you. You know, I hope in the end, maybe it helped in some way. Um, I don't feel good about that either, really, in the long run. And with Denise, I don't like how that went down either. You sent a cease and desist. Who told you that? Oh, you're so angry. No, you, are, you are playing dirty. I'm playing dirty? Like, this is slanderous. All these things, I really have to be honest, I don't feel great about. I did them. It happened. They haunt me. I think each and every one of them haunts me. When I think about those moments, and I, I, I have to live with myself. You know, I have to live with the consequences of my actions. We all do. If I could take it back and not go through those moments, to be honest, I would. I would take each and every one of them back. And following up on that, Rena, I mean, as a group, there was a lot of conversation about Lisa Vanderpump and Lucy Lucy Apple Juicy to the point where you might have inferred that she stole from orphans and widows. Lisa, why aren't you upset about this? Oh, come on. He's your employee. This wouldn't get out there if you didn't want it out there. This is like bullshit going to Teddy, bringing Kyle in. This sounds like a fucking setup. I was, are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. What? So, what? I mean, I'm just saying, the level of questioning of Lisa Vanderpump regarding But that. she ran away and I didn't. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'm here. She chose to, like, not show up. I showed up today as vicious and as angry and as hurt and as beat down as I am. She couldn't answer the bell. I f***ing did. She never answered questions. She went away. So that's not really, in Kinda my different. opinion... Analogous. No. 